Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. What, what, what is your life's purpose for Cancer? You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs for October 2022. Um, so we're going to take a look and see, you know, what you guys need to know, um, how your journey is going regarding your life's purpose, and then we'll finish off to read to see what your life's purpose is and how you could get there. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay. Uh, also, a quick note that this reading is not really meant to be crosswatch, flipped, twisted, or reversed. Okay. Uh, this is a reading for the Cancer people that are currently in the path of healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth. Okay. Um, but if you want to do that, you can feel free to do so. Uh, so, Cancer, let's get started. Tell me about Cancer here. What is currently going on with Cancer? How is uh, Cancer's journey going regarding their, uh, re regarding their life's purpose? For October 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer and Jupiter. We have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse here. You know, I feel like what's going on is I feel like you're trying to break free of this mental prison because right now there's, uh, I mean, the current situation is that you're not really happy with where you're at. You're definitely in the pursuit of happiness here. You're trying to find what's happy for you. We have the Judgment card. Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Star. What I'm feeling like, I feel like, I feel like, energy of your the universe or that you're feeling like the universe has let you down or that you're feeling like your guides and your angels and your ancestors have let you down here okay um you know i feel like right now i just feel like you're currently not in a really good space cancer you know i feel like your guides and your ancestors are trying to get your attention i feel like there is some sort of second chance here too for you uh we have the emperor in the reverse so i feel like things are really not so much in control right now or things are just not orderly things are like perhaps a bit out of control here we have a ton of swords i don't know i feel like a, a lot of this has to do with maybe a betrayal that has happened to you or, you know in your personal life and i feel like being going through this has affected you or has stunted your path of moving towards your life's purpose okay i don't know i feel like you know I, I feel like a lot of you guys are really connected to your guides and your ancestors here i mean you guys are intu very intuitive intuitively connected to them okay or just really tapped in but i feel like there's an energy of not maybe your gifts your gifts has let you down okay um because of all the bad stuff that you've been through here. All right, tell me about the eight, eight of Swords in the reverse. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Cups in the reverse and the King of Cups in the reverse, okay? So Seven of Pentacles and the King of Cups, there you are right here. Uh, this is typically Scorpio energy for me, that King of Cups, but um, it could be any of the water signs. I just feel like some here is really emotionally upset here. I feel like there's an energy of definitely taking stock and taking inventory and trying to figure out how to trust yourself again. Because I feel like maybe this betrayal was regarding a bad decision that you made. Or that maybe you didn't listen to your intuition here. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? You have the Ace of Swords. Tell me about this uh, star card in the reverse in the Page of Wands here. I think this is a chance 
for you because I feel like with the judgment card, I feel like you're getting like a huge burst of inspiration here, okay? To pursue something that you're really passionate about here, Cancer, okay? Uh, I, I mean, this is could be something in the creative field, okay? This could be something, you know, in the performing arts or something like that. Um, tell me about the emperor here with the wheel of fortune. Ten of Swords, I feel like things are turning in your favor here with the Wheel of Fortune. You know, I just feel like the universe has your back. Uh, you know, I do feel like, yeah, there's a past situation here that you're really disappointed in, okay? And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, this is a big wake-up call here for you, I feel. Yeah, this is a big wake-up call here for you. Perhaps you had to go through this situation in order for you to in order for you to set yourself on the right path, you know? So um, let's see what else we have. It seems like someone here might have let you down or someone here like completely back, back, backstabbed you, okay? I, I, I also feel like someone's living situation is not also, not, not really that great also. I feel like uh, where someone here is living, they're not happy with where they're at. Um, what else do we have here for cancer? What is Cancer's life's purpose and how can they get there? For October 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs for Cancer. One more. Oh, shoot. That's not, that was bad. One more. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we have the Page of Cups in the reverse. We have the Six of Swords here. I think one of the things that I'm getting, if you're not happy with your current living situation right now, I think it's time to get out. Uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. I don't know. I feel like someone here moved here for moved for love, or maybe moved for a friend, and it just maybe something happened with this friend, but it just seems like something didn't work out. Um, that maybe is causing this block here. Okay, and we have the Ace of Cups here and the High Priestess. So Cancer, Pisces energy. Okay, so the Page of Cups in the reverse and the Six of Swords. You know, I just feel like, you know, I feel like there's an energy of going back and forth one moment. You know, things are going really, really well. And then, you know, and then there's a feeling of like, you know, going back to that really um, bad place. Um, I feel like they, there's a lot of opportunities that come your way, but I feel like there's an energy of ignoring it or push, pushing it away. Yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Seven of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups here and the High Priestess. I think one of the most important things is to ask yourself and trust your own intuition in your body to see what that purpose is for you. You know, some, sometimes when I see, you know, there's like a lot of artistic background here. So I feel like someone here could be into the arts or, or the performing arts, but you know, with that Knight of Pentacles, there, there could be energy of sort of like going that safe, safe route. Yeah. The Page of Cups in the reverse, you know, the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Swords and the King of Pentacles here. You know, that, that Page of Pentacles and the, that King of Pentacles is an energy to me of kind of like going that safer route, you know, going towards, a, you know, a nine to five situation here. But there's something that you know that, that you know that you want to do where you're really passionate about and that it's emotionally fulfilling for you. Um, one of the things I'm getting here is that I'm not really seeing a whole lot of pentacles. Um, you know, these core cards, so, but it's just sort of like, it's sort of like going that safer route here. You know, the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, I think one of the uh, things, one of the most important things is to really plan out and ask yourself and think, like, what is it that you want? You know, I feel like more so not think, but more so feel. Yeah, because I feel like you could be in your head a lot. Seven of Wands here. You have the Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. We have the tower. Tell me about this uh, high priestess and the queen of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. 
Eight of Wands. There could be someone that's trying to communicate with you. Whoever this is, this person might have hurt you here. It could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be a fa family member. And then we have the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Tower here. You know, I feel like you're gonna uh, you're about to have some sort of aha moment and a realization of what that is, and they and, and then they feel like you're gonna go for it. Okay, with the Knight of Wands here. But I'm gonna pull some oracle messages here. Pull from this life's purpose deck. What is what if uh, what is Cancer's life's life's purpose for October 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We have protected. You are safe and support it while you change your career. Yeah, someone here could be switching careers here. Yeah, so I feel like there, there's a chance, there's an opportunity for you to make this jump, okay? Uh, make this jump where, you know, you, you'll find something that really makes you happy. Maybe you guys are turning to teaching. Yeah, maybe you guys are, you know, maybe leaving teaching behind to pursue, to, to pursue something else or, 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 or leaving something else to pursue teaching here. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, that Page of Pentacles, you know, the, the, those, the, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles could be an indication that you're maybe trying to switch careers or perhaps you're trying to open a new business here. Like I said, it could be something along the lines of the performing arts, something artistic, work through your fears here. Okay, maybe there is a fear of pursuing something new here. Um, and then a win-win outcome is in the forecast. So I do feel like, like I said, the Wheel of Fortune is here. So things are going to move in your favor here. Okay? So Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys uh, in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.